Hello, once again, this is Magma WK, and today we're going to go through the gauntlet. Yes, Tengen's version of gauntlet. This is Magma WK, and first question I have for you, are you one player or two players? Why well, I am one player. In the arcade and many other versions, you could have up to four players. Thank you, Mr. Demon, sir. And Tegan's version is a little bit different, of course. You can choose your four characters, no difference there. You can go with the warrior, who is great at melee and throwing his axes, but he is a horrible with his magic and can't move very fast. The Valkyrie, who is good at everything, sort of, but has great defense, despite being in a chainmail bikini. Hey, it's that shield. That shield is nice. And then, of course, there's our good friend, the wizard there. The blue wizard. He has no defense. He's not that good a fighter, but he uses magic like nobody's business. And his shots are pretty powerful as well. And, of course, there's the elf. You're a jerk if you choose the elf and you have somebody else with you not choose the elf. The elf is very fast. He has decent magic, but... He can't take very many hits, and traditionally his uh, shots are pretty weak, but in this version they're fairly powerful. So for silly purposes, I shall go with the Valkyrie. Yes. Now in Tegan's version, they're set up more as an adventure game. You get a maximum power and only one life. No, you cannot insert credits, unlike the arcade and other versions. And you get Power increases, max life increases, by increasing your score. How do you do that? Get treasure chest. Well, of course. Everybody loves treasure. Everybody loves keys. But you gotta hate ghosts. Ghost. You cannot touch ghosts. They will violate you in several ways by draining your health. So what do you do? You shoot ghosts. But more importantly, you shoot the areas where they came from. Yes, those skull and crossbones. Well generate more ghosts until you destroy them. And there's our friends the orcs. Orcs, they also have generators around sometimes. But orcs you can melee. Yes, get up close and personal. Or of course you can still shoot them. Now why do you need keys? To get through doors of course. But do you want to go through a door now or later? That is the decision. And also, magic potions. You press the magic button, or in this case the B button, it damages or destroys your opponents. If I was the wizard, those things wouldn't be there. But no, I'm a Valkyrie. And Valkyrie don't know magic very well. Now once in a while you get a very rare item that will increase your abilities, providing you survive that long through the several rooms. And there are a lot of rooms in the gauntlet. And yes, in Tegan's version, there is a map. And you go through five different maps to eventually get to the sixth dungeon. But there's several catches to that. You have to get to that question mark. How do you get that question mark? Find the right exit. And then eventually you will get a code. And then you'll use that code to get to the Final dungeon. Oh my. But what is this? It's a Spyro. It's a maze. It's a gauntlet by golly. That makes sense. And what do you do in gauntlets? You run them. Yes. But you also have to destroy things along the way. Including ghosts. Oh my. And you can exit here. Or you can look around a little bit more for treasure if you want to. So let's go ahead and exit, since we are on a time limit, of course. And proceed along. Now throughout this maze, you will find you can shoot diagonally, yes. And take advantage of those cracks between the things. Also, if you see a cracked thing, you can shoot it. Cracked all, yes. Use those treasure to your advantage. It may not be wise to grab treasure when it is blocking several hundred monsters from hurting you. But, grab the treasure. You want points. You want to increase your maximum life. You also want to be a greedy 
jerk who shows off on YouTube. No, I mean, I'm just kidding. And you gotta love the music. It does provide a sense of emergency. Now, on the NES in particular, after this version came out, there was Gauntlet 2, the official NES version. That you could play with four players, with the four-player adapter, of course. Some people, however, considered it inferior to Tengen's Gauntlet. But what is also inferior is letting ghosts spawn like that. So run while you can, and pray they don't gang up on you. And what is this? We have come to a treasure room, marked by the dollar sign. So let's grab some treasure. But we have a time limit. And we must exit, or we won't get our password. Oh my! That increases our max power. We have finally gotten 50 treasures. Also, we want to exit said treasure room in time, so we can get our life restored. Yes! Tengen only version. Why Tengen? Because they make carts that are not official Nintendo products. And yet, a lot of them end up superior to... Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. And of course you get a password, because this is a long game. Because after all, there are over a hundred dungeon rooms, and some of them you might have to go back to. Either by being an idiot, or being through demons. Gotta watch out for stun panels, though. Hit one of those. You're stunned for a short time. Also, you, along the way, you will meet Black Knights. The Death Knights. You do not want to mess with those guys. Unless you have magic. And what's magic? Why getting items, including food. And stuff that makes your enemies scared of you for a little while. So there's a lot to gauntlet. It's more fun with more players, of course, but it's good serving of individual. Dungeon running is always fun. Tengen did a very good job of doing that. And I think that covers a lazy quick view pretty well there. And remember, don't shoot the food! Magma WK, signing this one off. Good night.